what do I say? <laughs> subspace what? I'm Vera, I am a pro dom content creator, latex designer and artist. <laughs> I think um, you can be sub you can be dominant while wanting to receive piss and be covered in piss. Um, I mainly suffer from censorship on Instagram. So Instagram, I've deleted so many of my accounts. Um, I'm on my sex account and. I can't even tell people I'm a sex worker on Instagram anymore. I'm scared of getting deleted again and censored. Um, it's heavily targeting sex workers. Um, it takes a lot of respect, so I will not use a toilet who is not respectful and doesn't know how to communicate well. Um, I think there is a stigma around anal sex and men are just terrified of it for some reason um, but most of the time men want to perform anal sex on women but I feel like they should try it at least once to know what it's like and maybe they like it they're just like a bit scared of trying it I guess or they don't want to be seen as gay um, but yeah, and all sex is for everyone, in my opinion. Um, so I started about two years ago, um, mainly because I could not afford to buy latex pieces already made, so I made a translucent latex dress. Once I got enough practice, I opened my Etsy shop. So yeah, it is quite hard and it takes a lot of tries and you have to be really patient. <laughs> so when a submissive contacts me, um, I, I will get some information in the first few emails so they can tell me their limits, their health, if they have any health problems and what they'd like to explore. And then once they come in, I see them in person, face to face, and I go over those boundaries again and those limits again. I require a copy of their ID. I'm quite picky when it comes to bookings. If I don't feel, if I don't feel it, I just trust my gut and just not see my client. Um, I also always text a friend. Um, everyone is very different. Not all submissives are into humiliation, not all submissives are into pain. So you got to understand your submissive's boundaries and what kind of submissive they are. Yeah, it was like my personal Instagram. <laughs> it used to be girl 69 but then it got deleted. No, it's so funny on Fat Life. I get a lot of messages from male doms who want me to shit on them. I'm just like, are you okay? Why do you want to hide this part of yourself? Like, I kind of feel sad for them. Like, I'm a pro dom, but I'm also a switch, and I'm not gonna try to hide that from people. Like, I am who I am. I think the best thing to do when you start out is network as much as you can make friends who are pro doms as well and um, that's what I did. You can learn a lot by watching people. Yeah, I think it's also important to know your boundaries and establish them when you first start, otherwise clients might like cross them, accidentally cross them if you don't communicate those boundaries. So there is a, a long list of things I do not do. So I think it's important to make a list of things you're comfortable with that you enjoy and then a list of things that is like no-go. Body fluids, 100%. <laughs> Easy. <laughs>